Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be removing some potassium salts from these bananas, specifically potassium carbonate, which is a very useful reagent. I found these bananas for five cents a pound, very, very cheap. So I picked up a whole bunch of them, and I'm going to just freeze all the bananas and bake them and eat them and stuff over time. But all the peels contain lots of potassium salts. So we're going to go ahead, peel all of these, and then dry the skins and extract the potassium salts from them. So first we'll go ahead and peel all of these bananas. Okay, so you can see I finished peeling all of the bananas, and we have this massive mound of banana peels here. So you're going to put them on a baking sheet and dry them in batches until we have all of these completely dried. The oven was set to around 200 degrees Fahrenheit to dehydrate the peels without burning them. Once fully dry, the peels were removed and crushed into a powder in a blender. In total, 954 grams of the dried peels were obtained. To remove the potassium carbonate, the dried banana peel must be heated and burnt to an ash. A large propane torch was used to ignite the banana peels in a steel pan while stirring them with a long steel rod. Once the banana peels were carbonized, the coals were left overnight to fully burn. The steel pan was placed on insulated fire bricks to prevent the pan from cooling down too much. Occasionally, the ashes were stirred to incorporate more of the charcoal into the ignited section. The next morning, the coals had finished burning completely, so the ashes were transferred to a beaker and weighed. The ashes weighed 156 grams. To dissolve the potassium carbonate, approximately 500 milliliters of water was added. The mixture was ground in a blender to ensure all the potassium carbonate could dissolve, and then it was heated and stirred for approximately 30 minutes. Next, the solution was vacuum filtered to remove the remaining insoluble ash. The ash was rinsed twice with water, and then the potassium carbonate solution was added to a large beaker. The pH of the solution showed it was quite basic, as expected. The solution was transferred to a crystallizing dish on a hot plate and evaporated to dryness. The potassium carbonate obtained was a bit dark in color, indicating some likely impurities. The material was scraped from the dish and weighed 70 grams. The impure potassium carbonate was re-dissolved in 200 milliliters of water and filtered. Some activated charcoal was added to the solution to help reduce colored impurities, and then the solution was filtered again. After boiling off the water, the potassium carbonate obtained was noticeably whiter. This was once again scraped off, transferred to a blender, and blended to a powder. In total, 53 grams of relatively pure potassium carbonate was obtained from the 954 grams of dried banana peels. This means that the banana peels contain about 5.5% potassium carbonate by weight. Potassium carbonate is a useful reagent for different reactions and can also be used to produce potassium hydroxide by thermal decomposition to the oxide and then rehydration, which I plan to do in a separate video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in a future project. Okay, bye.